So digging in now, Eddie Rosario. He will lead Leading this off one off today. For Minnesota. Center fielder, Eddie Rosario. First pitch of the ball game is swung on and missed, and that's how we'll get things started this afternoon. And Harold, as we take a look at the Pirates as they take the field here this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, it's been disappointing. I mean, here we are in the dog days of August, and this shows your colors right now. I mean, there's been a lot of bickering and complaining, but because they've been playing poorly, and it's hot, and they're all irritable. Uh, it's not a fun club to be around. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Miguel Sano is at the plate as he looks at ball one. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. One and one, here it comes. And that slider's almost in the dirt. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. 3 1 count to this guy. You don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No, no, no. Keep it on the corner. Heading out towards shallow right. Polanco has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. So here's Joe Maurer. Batting first third. swings for him in this first one with a runner still seven. at first and one Joe gone. Maurer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Scooped up. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Here's Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. Leading for the Pirates. Center fielder, Starling Marte. Here's a high pop up. Dozier is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Gregory Polanco right hitting just a bit Gregory over the Mendoza Polanco. line on the year. First delivery to him on the way. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Standing in, Tim Beckham. Man at first for him following the one out single. In there for strike one. Harold, these twins, as they take the field here this afternoon, they'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Now a move over to first. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Throw over to the bag. Runner at first here, one man out. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 0-2. A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Batting Stepping in, court. Corey Dickerson. And he is proving Corey. to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Sends that one out of play for strike one. A runner on first with two away. Runners on the move for second. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to 1-2. and two. Hughes comes set, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to 2-2 two and two now. Here's a look over to first. Here's the 2-2. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. 
Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. So coming to the plate, Brian Dozier. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Into the windup and the pitch. This is line to left. Dickerson has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Here's Joey Gallo now. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Oh. Ready with the 1 0 oh pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Now with the 2 0 -oh count and the power at the plate. It could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, oh you think? Inside. If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts Georgia. him here. It's a five-pitch walk. Escobar. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But uh, this is foul for the first strike. The 0 1 on its way. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Oh, and two, here it comes. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. So right stepping in, Logan Morrison. Logan Not the shiniest Morrison. of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. From the stretch. And this is fouled at the plate. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Really deceptive changeup there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. Swing and a line drive. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Now a ball popped up behind the plate for Ramos. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory. Too. And that'll bring up the versatile Jung Ho Gung. He'll start things out Third here in a tie ball game. Way yeah. off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. The 0-2 on its way from Hughes. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jung Ho Gong becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. Josh Bell is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. He may have to get his eyes checked on that one because if he's looking for fastball, man, he had no chance of catching up to that. He better check his eyes. He was really late. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Bell is retired two down now. Batting seventh. Now at the plate, Brandon Phillips. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And Maurer will look up and put it away, and that in. Now at the plate, Jason Castro. And the average isn't pretty down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. 
Petra. Digging in, Phil, Phil Hughes. Hughes. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Well, he swung right through that on that changeup. The changeup is a tough pitch to swing at for the first pitch because you haven't measured his velocity yet, so you don't know what you're going to see coming your direction. One and two now. Third inning, no score to this point. Hit on the ground to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Rosario. A base hit in his first trip. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble and no it's caught out there looked like extra bases but the catch is made and it'll end the inning. Coming to the plate now number 78 he stands in for the first time in this one number 78 checks his swing but this pitch is right there for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with a fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. You got him set up perfectly. Dozier onto the grass, one away. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Hitting a little Patrick. over 250 coming into Wilson action in this one. Ramos. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. And now pitch on the way. Rip down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? And here's a ball hit in the air. Escobar takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Fielder, number six. Ready for another Starling chance. Starling Marte. Marte. Hey. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Zero. Good slider that time from Hughes and it's strike one. With two outs they're not playing him to bunt here and he didn't show it there but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well and he can definitely run. Back to back sliders. And we'll have to leave it there. Here's Miguel Sano. He's 0 for 1 thus far. For Minnesota, the left fielder, number 22. Zero. And he got him out in front that time. Strike Sano. one. You know, Matt, he's having great success, but I can't say it's because of the first pitch strike. Now, that's over 60% of the time he's throwing that first strike, but usually to have this kind of success, you would think the ratio would be much higher. And that swung on and fouled straight back. And another foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now batting, first baseman, Joe Mauer. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Mauer rounding first on his way to second now. And he'll reach second now with one away. Here's Brian Dozier now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Brian Dozier. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. For Mauer, he reaches the 20 mark and doubles with that last two bagger. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Third baseman, number 13. Riding in once again, Joey, Joey Gallo. Gallo. He drew a walk his first time up. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Here's Gregory Polanco. He'll look to get something Leading going here in this inning. scoreless ball game. Right fielder. Gregory Polanco. Inside here with the cutter as he's lucky that one didn't get him. 
you know, pitching isn't always about throwing strikes. Sometimes you just need to make sure your opponent isn't too comfortable up there. And that's just what he did right there. Busted him inside with good hard stuff. Therefore, it is Dozier, and that's the first out. Into the box Third now. Baseman, Tim five. Beckham. 0 for 1 Tim for him here Beckham. in this one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Rosario racing back. He makes the running play. Two down. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Corey, Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. I really love the way he's attacking hitters on that first pitch. It's over 80% first pitch strikes in this game. And that's why he's having such great success. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. The one two from Hughes. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He'll start Hitting things out twins. as we begin the fifth. Eduardo Into the windup and the pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. The windup and the 0 1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Settling in now, Logan Morrison. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Uh, started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Here's the pitch. A late swing at a slider for a strike. I got to say his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well and it's a big reason why he's had success. And this will be taken in here by Beckham for the second out. Now at the plate, Jason Castro comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Well, Matt, that's two quick outs, but if you look at the pitch count, it's way down low. He's being aggressive, and so are they. He's got a chance to get through this one. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1 and 1. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. And Ish, not the kind of swing you're looking for, three and one, as it runs to a full count now, three and two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Hit back up the middle. Gung is there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up the versatile Jung Ho Gung. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. Jung Ho. High in the air out towards shallow right. Morrison has a play. He's got it one away. Josh Bell the next to hit. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Oh, that looked like a pretty good pitch to hit. It's a little bit late, so he might have been just fooled just a tad bit, just enough not to square it up. Fouled back. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. That is too good a pitch to make right there with two strikes. But he fouled it off. Now you got to stay aggressive and go get him again. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Escobar ranges back and he has it for route number two. The batter number five. Here's Brandon baseman, Phillips. Brandon Phillips. First pitch coming now from Hughes. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Strike two. Hey. 
liner towards second. And that is through into right field for a single. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. Number 78. Into the box now. Number 78. He flew out in his last at bat. Use come set. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Here's Hughes now on 0 and 1. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. 1 1 on the way from Hughes. 1 and 2. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early, it opens up the outside half of the plate. And that's what he's doing right now. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Again, a 1 2. Swing and a liner. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Digging in for his second at bat, Phil Hughes. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Phil Hughes. Hit to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting. At the plate, Center Eddie Fielder. Rosario. Eddie One for two on his line Rosario. so far in the game. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Here's Miguel Sano. Over two here to start the afternoon. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. From the belt, the pitch. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. The 0-1 pitch. And that slider is almost in the dirt. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. And two and two. What well, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. First baseman number seven, Joe Maurer. Joe Maurer is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. Oh. Ooh, that pitch was up and in. That's one of those pitcher's purpose pitches, right? Fastball, something hard up. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Catcher. Wilson. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Here's Starling Marte. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Rosario. But it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Here's Gregory Polanco. A hit in two tries so far. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. This is a situation you love as a hitter. It's an RBI situation tailor made for you. If you hit the ball on the ground, you're going to pick up that run and it's going to give you the lead. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. The relay throw, and he is in there. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Digging in to try it again. Tim Beckham, the potential second run of the inning, stands at third. And now we'll step off the rubber here. Just looking. First offering on its way. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. 
On its way, the 0-1 pitch. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Has a look, now the pitch. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. Now batting. Digging in once Left again, fielder. Corey Dickerson. Corey. He's 0 for Dickerson. 2 with a strikeout in this one. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. He swung so hard, I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down. He swung so hard. What a big swing. And this is fouled back and out of play. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Whoa, Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Well, he tried to put him away on two pitches low in the zone, and he just wasn't biting. Nice job of hitting. Popped up. Gallo is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Here's Brian Dozier now. No hits and two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Brian Dozier. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 0. Hit well towards the hole. Gung's got it. On to first and a big out to start the seventh. One gone. Ready once again. Joey Gallo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Ready for five. another shot now. Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo He's Escobar. 0 for 2 thus far in this one. This is pulled into right. Polanco is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Ready for another chance. Jung Ho Gong. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number 7. Jung Ho Gong. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. And he misses with it, 1-1. And, and now pitch on the way. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. The 1-2 from Hughes. And that misses 2-2. Two two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. First baseman number 55. Stepping in and ready for another oh. shot, Josh Bell, oh. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And there's the fastball from Hughes. It's nothing and one. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Morrison ranging back. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter number Digging five, in and looking for baseman, more. Brandon Phillips. Brandon He's one for two in the ball game. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And the throw just does beat him at the bag so the side is retired.
stepping into the box. Minnesota, the right fielder, number 99. Logan Morris. Kevin Segrist. Your attention, Been please. summoned from the bullpen now as he'll do so to start the eighth. Pinch hitting for Byron the Buxton will pinch hit here, Buxton. and he's the potential. Byron Buxton. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. 264 is average entering play. Four home runs, 13 RBIs. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Marte ranging back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. He hit the corner and tries for third, and he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. Jason Castro, the Kenny Vargas, who come on to pinch hitting for Minnesota, number 19, Kenny Vargas. You love this situation right here, Matt. Runner on second, no outs. You either get him over or you get him in. Worst case, get him over, and the next guy drives him in. And there's ball one. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Here it comes on one and one. Sliding stop by Phillips. The throw to first. What a play. Sliding in once again. Phil Hughes. It's been an 0 for 2 Pinch effort. For the pitcher Chris Colabello Number has 15. moved into the on deck circle Chris now as he'll Colabello. hit for the pitcher Hughes. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw up. Hold that thought, though. This ball's hammered to deep center field. Back at the wall, and it's gone. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Rosario. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Eddie Rosario. And that misses for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Here's Miguel Sano. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. And apparently they'd rather go after the next guy as they walk him intentionally with two out here. Now batting. Digging First in, baseman. Joe Maurer. He Joe was a ground Maurer. out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. Has a look, now the pitch. In the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's set and the two one pitch. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Hit out towards second. Phillips ranging to his right. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been.
David Hernandez. He's on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom. Number 37. So David stepping in, Hernandez. Kevin Segrist. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Austin Meadows will Number try and 45. get his club back into it here Austin. as he'll pinch it to lead off the home half of the eighth. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Sano sprinting after it. And that's the first out of the inning. Here's the catcher, the Wilson Ramos. Catcher. He's singled in two trips to the Wilson. plate thus far. Ramos. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Here's Starling Marte. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball left side. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Here's Gregory. Polanco, he singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring Minnesota. on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Zach Duke. Tim Anderson will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners Anderson. aboard with only one out in the inning. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2-0 now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to rip it and rip it. Buxton will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Third baseman Settling five. in now, Tim Beckham. Tim Beckham. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying in. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and just put him aboard here, and they'll do just that. Left now at the plate, Corey, Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. David Freeze will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Number 57 please. is ready, and now he'll take the ball the from the manager. Number 57. Now with the play. Brian Dozier.
Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Well, he got that first pitch, got him looking right there. With a star hitter like this guy, it is always good to get ahead in the count. Now a ball popped up behind the plate for Ramos. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. Third baseman number 13. Here's Joey Gallo Joey. now. He comes Gallo. in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set and the pitch. Lays oh, off 1 and 0. Oh. Swings through the slider there. That ball's right down the middle, and this guy's hitting in the middle of your order, and he wasn't able to hit it. That's how nasty his slider is. Here it is. You still can't hit it. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change. One and two. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Eduardo Escobar standing in. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. And that'll bring up. The versatile Jung Ho Gun. He'll start things out needing just a run to. Number 16. Dominic Leone. If the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Comes set and the 0 1. And this is bounced foul at the plate and that moves the count to 0 and 2 now. Thought he had the inside corner that time but it missed for ball one. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Maurer will get under it to put it away just past the first base dugout and that's oh, out that's number one. Right Josh Bell the next oh, to hit. Foul. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Line to the right side, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Now batting. Bucks down to their final baseman. out now. And stepping in, the second baseman, Ella. Brandon Phillips. Sean Rodriguez. We'll get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Rodriguez. Ball one. And the victory would be for Phil Hughes if the score holds where it is. Late that time for a strike. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And that is going to wrap things up as the catch is made and the 